Okay, so we're going to do a real simple print here. Um, the print on the right we call the bicycle chain. This is actually a print that shows the same kind of information on the print we would receive on the floor. It doesn't give me tangent points. It doesn't give me intersection points. It only gives me enough information to be able to check the part. I'm going to show that with the Herco WinMax control, we can program only with the information given on this print. I won't have to trig out anything. So we're going to go to part programming, milling, and because this is a, not a simple geometric shape, I'm going to select lines and arcs. Lines and arcs is one block is going to create this entire feature, but it's going to be made up of different segments. Segment zero is the only starting point on the print or on the in the program. From this point on, the segments will be lines or arcs and they will have endpoints only. So it wants, it wants me to give it an X and Y starting point. There's only two logical places to start on this particular part, and that is either at the 9 o'clock position on this small radius or the 3 o'clock position on this larger radius. I'm going to choose the 3 o'clock position on the larger radius. So it's asking for the X and Y position of that start point. Well, if it's a 4 inches to the center of that radius and it's a 1 inch radius, then that point is going to be 5 inches. It's inch and a half from the front of the part to the center, so we'll put 1.5. We're going to wrap it to 100 thousandths above the part, and we're going to go down a half inch deep. You can't see because the print is off to the right side of the screen, but this is a half inch deep pocket. I'm going to use tool number one. It's a half inch end mill and it's going to be a pocket boundary. Next segment is going to be an arc. We need to determine whether we're going to climb mill or conventional mill. The direction that I program is going to create, going to determine that. And I'm going to go to the counterclockwise direction because that would be climb milling which is what I want to do. So this is my start point. I'm going to go in a counterclockwise direction to the end point of that arc. And the end point of that arc, select arc counterclockwise. It's asking for the end point. The end point is not this 90 degree 12 o'clock position. Because we're meeting up with an angled line, we actually have to go past that position a little bit to an unknown point. We don't know that. Well, with our control, if you don't know, you skip it. Don't put zero in because that's a value. We literally skip those two fields. Now we do know the center point and the radius of this particular arc, so we can put that in. The center point is 4 inches, 1.5, and the radius is 1 inch. It's already had enough information to calculate that first piece of information we couldn't give it. So we go on. Our next segment is going to be this line right here. So we select line, and it's asking for the end point. Well, much like the other, it's an angled line meeting up with the arc. It's not at that 90 degree uh, 12 o'clock position, so we don't know the end point without triggering that out, so we're going to skip those. We don't know the length or the angle either. It's not given on the print. We only know that this is a line. If we don't know it, we skip it, so we're going to go to the next segment. Next segment's going to be an arc. It's going to be this arc here. We have two options. We can either stop at this halfway point or we can continue all the way around to meet up with this next line. I see no reason to stop, so we're going to go ahead and do the full arc. It's counterclockwise. We don't know the end point, just like before. We do know the arc centers, however. The arc center is one inch. 1.5 in Y, and it's a 0.5 radius. Now, as soon as I filled that out, you'll notice that there was values here that were missing that have now been filled in, and they show that they're calculated. This is the information of where we were coming from. So this is, it's now been able to back figure everything we've left blank up to this point. So we're going to continue on. Our next segment is another line. We know nothing about that line, nothing to enter. We skip it. So we go to the next segment. And we're going to finish with this final arc. 
This final arc is a counterclockwise arc ending at the same point that we begun. So it's counterclockwise. We know that endpoint. It's 5 inches, 1.5, and Y. The center is 4 and 1.5. Radius is indeed one inch. It calculated that. You see that it is back figured everything we didn't know before for the last line, and it's our sweep angle. So if we go to draw, we have that feature.